you know, both for doctors and patients, it is important to know that right now we don't have a cure. Um, it's, a, it's a focus of research. Everybody is working very hard on this. And so because EOE is chronic, it's different than some other allergic diseases where you don't grow out of it. It tends to persist. So both for patients and doctors, there has to be an understanding that this will need a longer term management plan. It's not just diagnosis and an initial course of treatment. If you tend to stop treatment in this condition, then things will flare up again. So you do need to partner and have a longer a longer term uh, plan. So I, I think that's the first thing. And then the second thing is, you know, for, as as a uh, both a clinician and a researcher, it's a condition where there is a lot of collaboration. So pediatric and adult providers collaborate, GI, allergy providers, pathologists who read the, the uh, biopsies, and then dietitians and nutritionists um, and, and other you know, providers as well uh, really do collaborate. So good communication is necessary. But the reason for you know, the, the result of all of that collaboration is that we're making very strong advances in the field, and it is leading to novel treatments and novel targets for treatments going forward. So I think the future is bright for patients who do have this condition. Music